Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the Danger Reviewer here, and time for another exciting unboxing video. Now, these are actually going to be two things. Well, actually, this is going to be one particular video combined it. So, this is actually going to be one of the things that's going to be unboxed. Uh, also, before I begin, uh, thank you guys very much for the uh, last um, uh, video. Uh, you know, showing up love and support uh, for my birthday video for the birthday anime unboxings. Uh, thanks for that. That was actually uh, that was very nice of you guys. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the very very uh, kind support that you've given me. Uh, thank you. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's something going on with the uh, comment sections. It's a little bit weird, but yeah, I've been reading them and I'm really sorry about that. It's just the comment sections. Uh, it's been weird it's been very weird but yeah the comment sections have been very 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 weird as of lately like i ring some of them it's, it's a little weird i don't know maybe it's my phone or something but anyways uh thank you for that by the way but without further ado let's get this unboxing started be sure to rate the video comment subscribe click on that bell join the squad boys follow social media plugins and gamer tags as well without further ado let's get the shit started okay so as we all know uh, this is going to be the fifth of this series when it comes to this anime of the Blu-ray set. All I need is just one more, and lucky for you, I actually ordered that. And that should be coming in soon, and that, my friends, will be me being caught up to the recent Bleach Blu-rays that have been released as of so far. Um, oh, oh, wait, oh, I already said what it is. Oh, well, never mind that. I kind of ruined up surprise there well I just oh well anyway so yeah so you already know what it is regardless now this is again the seventh one is coming out at the very end of June possibly I'll just get it like in July or something like that so at least I can get that out of the way so that pretty much takes it off my list uh, once that comes in though there's gonna be an edit where I will have that one uh, not now but like next week it'll be in uh, like I said uh, my birthday was pretty good I got some birthday money pretty much overall and like I said from that last time where I was fine when I finally able when I got Inuyasha finally at long last so very excited for that so now all I need is just that last well not last one but like the most recent one that came out like about months ago and then now I just have to be the one that's gonna be uh, coming out which will be at the very end of this month yeah I believe at the end of June it's released so at the very end of June but probably that won't even be till like July even if that's the case well when I probably get it, you know what I mean? So, that'll be that, alright. And then, of course, One Piece Season 10 Voyage 1 finally comes out this month, so I'm very excited for that. But for now, let's just get to this. And, as you already know what it is, since I kind of ruined the surprise there, here is Blu-ray number 5 to Bleach. Aha, it's got Orihime right here, of course, and you got the back, which is the Hollow Ichigo. Uh, hold on, hold on, uh, 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 hold on. Um, go to that right there, a little close up, first time, episodes 112 to 139, so that's actually really, really dope, and we got Hollow Ichigo, or Visor Ichigo, I should say, the, uh, not Hollow, I'm sorry, apologize for that, the, the Visored form of Ichigo, so now we can get the unboxing started, so, um, also, hope you guys are, uh, of course, very important thing, of course, I forgot, uh, hopefully you guys are also, uh, Staying safe as well. Very important during these crazy times. Hope you guys are doing incredibly well with your health and everything. And hope you guys are staying safe. So, right, here we go. Uh, hold on one sec. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. So. Uh. Damn. All right, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I have finally gotten this unboxed. 
So, yeah, alright, so finally got this bad boy unbox right here. Alright, and now let's just take it, well, not part, but just take it from the. Ooh, this is actually really, really good too. This is really good. Ooh, I love this. This is awesome. I love this. This is really cool. Oh, I forget what that one um, a spot or a round car's name. I forget. It's It's been a while since I remember all those names. I have to do a rewatch. It's been a while. Yuki Oda. Okay, I know Yuki Oda. That's definitely uh, Shinji. Yeah, it's Shinji. Uh, Rukia looking all like, mm, like dopey, depressed. Uh, Grimjaw, Jack Jack, one of the best around cars. Respect that shit. And oh, cool! You actually get a uh, promo of the uh, JoJo's Diamonds Unbreakable. That's uh, really cool. Diamond is unbreakable. That is cool. I like that. That is really cool. Uh, you get the, uh, you got that. You watch the anime. Now read the manga, of course. Speaking of Diamonds Unbreakable's Blu-ray, oh, stop being so goddamn expensive. I would actually buy both of those parts of the JoJo's Diamonds Unbreakable Blu-ray. And that's actually pretty cool. I do like this like little side cover thing of like for Bleach, and it's just you know promoting for the for the manga. Oh, we got an Orihime one. Oh, just like the one that we got in the uh, well, it's a different one, but seeing that uh, if I were what if I were the Rain Cloud, I ever merge with somebody's heart like the way Rain merges Sky, and Earth never meant to connect. Hmm, good moral there. Uh, so this one was uh, kind of alright. It was kind of an alright one. Uh, but I would say, all right, not too bad, not too bad. But this, this, this is, this is, this is, this is awesome. This is hot. That's hot. All right, so there we go. All right, so there we go. Alrighty, so I am going to be editing this, like I said, uh, the next time. Uh, oh God, why is my? Yeah, uh, no, stop it. Um, sorry about that. I'm trying to fix this. Yeah. Um. Oh, jeez. Uh. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Okay, there we go. Uh, what I really wanted to do, but oh no, that no, no, no. Ah, okay, there we go. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Okay, there we go. All right, so next time it is going to be the uh, the uh, the part number six or Blu-ray six, whatever you want to call it. All right, so there you go. So stay tuned for that. Now. Alrighty, uh, actually, uh, when it comes to the sixth set, I'm actually going to save that for another unboxing because there'll be plenty of other things to go with it. Well, maybe like one or two more things, but we'll see. Or just two things in general. But since we're on the topic of anime, and since I'm doing a quick edit of this, shout out to the Lemon Gamer for actually helping me with the hookup to these awesome things. There's going to be one in particular I'm going to leave for last, and I'm actually going to be calling it a video right here. So, yeah. This time, the next thing is a um, continuation of these sets of movies when it comes to a very popular franchise. And the best part of all with this franchise, it's coming back from the hiatus mode. Uh, but it is rerunning the first three episodes until the very end of June, where the new episode will take place with episode four. Um, it, faces, it basically takes place in a very digital world. And once again, shout out again. Thank you, Lemon Gamer, for all the awesome things besides this as well, which I'll show you when it comes to the gaming stuff, because oh boy, you're in for a real treat. So this one is actually the, uh, well, I mean, it's not in particular order, but it's the fourth of out of the six. After this, I'll need about two more, and then I finally actually complete it. And of course, right here, this is Digimon. So here we go. Digimon, Digital Monsters, Digimon are the champions. Digimon Adventure Try Determination, which as you can see right there. Uh, so, look at that right there. So, yeah, so you got that as well. So, that is actually uh, very cool. So, yeah, there we go. And, uh, let me just uh, uh, get that real quick. So, you got a look behind the scenes. Uh, oh, wait, let me just take that real quick. Uh, let me just uh, do this real quick, really, really quick. All right, so we got the that right there, and we got the back of the course. Very, very awesome, very cool, very, very nice. Uh, look behind the scenes. An original Japanese language track. So, hey, if you ever want to watch it sub, 
There you go right there. It's actually pretty dope. I wish the Pokemon would actually do that though. Kind of sucks that Pokemon doesn't do that, but oh well. Here is the disc itself. Very nice, very cool. And there we go. Now the next thing is going to be, oh boy, this right here. Ooh. Now these are a collection of very rare games, both for the uh, original PlayStations 1 and 2. Um, era, so these I'm going to be getting out, but the very last thing I do want to show off though, uh, so that way I don't make the video extremely long until I make the other one, which will have like more things to unbox, or just other separate unboxing videos, since that way I can get this out along with that, so you guys don't have to wait too long, unless you want like a big extravaganza, but that will take like a billion centuries later, so at least I'll be able to get this one right away. And then the other ones, which will be like two other unboxings, are gonna happen at the same time. But that's not gonna be until unfortunately next week. So I might as well just fill you up with some content now, along with the One Piece uh, chapter, of course, which just dropped recently by you know by that time. So that's gonna be pretty dope. So look forward to that. Anyway, so from the gaming library, we got PlayStation One and Two errors of stuff. One is a fourth of the series, which is a survival horror. It's one of Capcom's classic survival horror series. They made movies off of this. You, you know, it, it, it's it's you know it's a household name when it comes to first person. I mean, not first person, third person survival horror shooters. Pretty much, of course, I am talking about the one and only one of like the top Resident Evil game uh, next to Resident Evil Five, Resident Evil Four. Oh yeah, the original PlayStation Two. Resident Evil 4. Oh, man. I remember, man, when I had this way back in the day, man. This is a very, very fun game. I actually had an absolute blast playing this. Oh, man. This is also on the GameCube, in case you guys don't know. This is also released on the GameCube as well. And, uh, even they, they even remastered it, too, on the Wii. Oh, yeah, they also remastered this game on uh, the Wii as well, which I totally forgot about that, that they actually updated on the, uh, on the Wii, too. Like they updated on there, uh, I believe they made an HD version of it for the PS3 and PS4, and Switch, I forgot, this is such a household name that you can find it anywhere now, but this is the original PlayStation 2's greatest hits, so just gonna do a really quick close up, real quick as I always do, there is Resident Evil 4 of course, now here's the back, very awesome stuff right there, and we got... The, uh, yeah, there we go. Resident Evil 4 right there. Bam. There we go. So, that's really neat. And, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so the next one of this is going to be also a very classic franchise as well. Um, you know, when it comes to EA, of course, obviously we know it isn't really the same anymore as it used to be. But when it comes to back of the day with such classic games, you can't go wrong, especially when it comes to war type of shooter games and no this is not call of duty in case you're wondering uh of course i'm talking about the one and only and i said ea so of course it's not here it is medal of honor vanguard playstation 2's greatest hits right over here we have the front and we have the back of it of course you don't play you don't play you volunteer that's basically how it went i think this one might have had the online functionality or i think it was just like just regular multi-tap yeah, I think it was just regular multi-tap, because, oh yeah, 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 it was regular multi-tap, because by then, I believe the PS3 was catching on by that time, and with the PS3, um, they had, like, you know, your PlayStation Network accounts and stuff like that. Yeah, this also was out also on the PlayStation 3 as well, but it also came out on PS2. Sadly, like, one of the last ones in the middle of Honor 4, the PlayStation 2, because, of course, after that, PS3 took over pretty much after 2008 and 9, but PS2 games, I think, were just pretty much getting more obsolete around that time but you know around that time 2008 this is pretty cool so yeah all right so finally this one right here is oh boy this is a legendary legendary game oh boy now this is actually straight out of japan imported playstation one it's an anime based game and it's something that, well, rather, you know, if you guys ever played it, which I'm pretty sure you played the one that was, like, somewhat translated, but not that much translated, uh, back in the day when it came out, like, it, it came out with a staple, it was out in, like, a Target, and stuff like that, like, it was out in Target, it was out in Walmart, and all other stores you could think of for the PlayStation 1, 
um, to rebrand it, I guess, because, you know, hey, you know, why not? You know, since these games were ultra rare to get from the get-go, rather you would have to get the PAL versions of them and stuff like that. And now, finally come to tuition when it comes to the PlayStation 1. This is the original classic one, of course. It's based off the very popular Dragon Ball Z anime. And one of those PlayStation 1 games... Oh boy, I had to say the best for last, man. Without further ado, let's get to it. This is the one and only... Are you ready for this right here? Ba-bam! Yes, ta-da! Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. Yes, people, you are looking at a very famous Japanese imported version, not the one that you got like years later down the line in Target or Walmart, whatever. And it actually has an English Ultimate Battle 22, so that is really dope. So, of course, like I said, ah, made in Japan, baby, right there. Of course, of course, of course. Right there, bam, Japan only, right there, haha, uh -huh. awesome sauce. So, you got the Japanese copy of that, um, let's just uh, dive right into this real quick. Alright, zooming close up, we got Ultimate Battle 22, Dragon Ball Z right there, really cool stuff. Got the back, look at the back, man, look how glorious this looks for an imported PS1 game, that is freaking fire right there, man, that is really cool, but what's even better is, we got the disc yes we have the disc itself right here got the disc itself uh and this uh amazing amazing art right here definitely some cool stuff there the best for family which i don't know why it says that but oh look at that it's the classic black playstation um back of the disc too man that, that's also really nostalgic right there too that's what i really loved it oh wait oh oh what is this here what do we have here well, it looks like the one and only, is this the instruction booklet? Yes, this, this is definitely the instruction booklet. And also the cover as well. Oh, jeez. Uh, wow. All right, well, oh, oh, okay, so we actually got it. And as you can tell, here's the instruction booklet. So why not? We got, we get to go through this amazingness right here. We got Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan. I think that's Gohan, no, let's go tanks. Wow, I'm sorry, whoops. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, no, that's Vegeta, that's Gohan right there, that's Piccolo, and then that's Gotenks. Then obviously it just gives you, oh, okay, that's actually cool, they do keep the English on there too. And then of course it'll tell you the kinds of button attacks and stuff like that. Build up, versus move, blah, 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 you know, you know the drill. You can't really obviously read it because it's all in Japanese, but I'm just giving you like an example right here. That's actually really cool. It's very, very nice, very cool. Uh, very cool detail. Goku, Trunks, all that. That's really cool. Uh, future Trunks, Piccolo. Oh, yeah, I forgot Tion was in that. Krillin. No Yamcha, though. Lol. No, no, no love for the Yamcha, I guess. No love for the Wolfang Fist. Damn. Oh, well. Supreme Kai. So these are all the characters that are in the game. Oh, yeah, Great Saiyan, man. Yeah, I forgot I was in the game. Great Saiyan, man. <laughs> Freaking, uh, oh, that's Zarbon. <laughs> that's what I'm laughing at. Oh, God. Pretty boy Zarbon. Jesus. Um... Fabulous. Anyways, Vegeta, right there. Can you? Why are you having that pose, bro? Like, really, dead ass man? And Raccoon, and it rhymes with Doom. Oh yeah, Raccoon, right there. Okay, let me just uh, keep on going. The amazing <laughs> Frieza, of course. You got that. Android 18, Android 16. Uh, perfect cell. We got Deborah, which I did. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. We need more Deborah love in most DBZ games nowadays. And of course, the Super Boo. That's very cool. And that's the back of the instruction booklet. Oh, wait, no, I gotta put it like this. Oops. Uh, let me just slide it on in really quick. And there we go. Awesome. There we go. So let's just recap this, shall we? We have the Resident Evil 4 uh, right there. Resident Evil 4. Well, I don't show that, but. Medal of Honor and the one and only classic Dragon Ball Super. So that is the classic PlayStation Vault, of course, with Digimon right there, and of course, Bleach. Which, uh, uh, so yeah, that's all the amazing stuff that the Living Gamer has gave to me. Um, shout out once again to you, dude, like amazing stuff once again. Definitely, I'm just really, really excited, especially for the Ultimate Battle 22, definitely being the top tier, definitely though, for sure. 
Uh, thank you once again, and this will conclude the unboxing slash update pretty much for gaming and for anime. So, yeah, all right, so that is it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you were excited for all the amazing, cool content that I have gotten as well. And yeah, that will pretty much be it. So uh, be sure to rate the video, comment, subscribe, click that bell, join the squad boys, follow the social media plugins and gamer tags as well. Peace, soul, love, chicken, grease, and the sky is the limit. And my good fans, keep supporting us, reading what you watch, and what you read, and what you watch. And yeah, that's basically it. So later. Bye.